That Yeezy clearance event was complete and utter chaos. So I'm gonna let you guys know whether this was worth it or whether it was not. Oh, gotta be, okay, just forget about it. I spent $1,000 on Yeezy items because how often can you get these good of deals? But let me tell you guys, this was far from easy. When everything got announced that everything was gonna be beyond 70% or 60%, obviously everybody started flocking to, to the Adidas website practically immediately, myself included. But nonetheless, we have a whole bunch of packages to open for you guys. And we're gonna answer the question whether or not it was worth going through all that trouble. This first box looks like it is a 700 box. Bam. Here we have the Fade Salt Yeezy 700 V3. Really, really nice color shoe, monochromatic. You got the white, you got the gray. Very easy shoe to match. The only thing that I will say, at least from my initial thoughts, the quality on these aren't anywhere near as good as I thought they would be. I must say, I'm a little underwhelmed. For $116, very good purchase. But I kind of feel bad for the people that spent $300 and above in resale market. First unboxing, check. Boom, so this looks like it is a pair of foam runners. Woo, okay. Very nice shoe. Personally, I love these. This is my second pair because my cat originally chewed up my pair. So I'm glad I have these back in the collection. Very, very easy shoe to wear. You could wear them on vacation. You could wear them around the house. Very versatile because just a black color. Obviously nothing crazy on the resale market. These are $90 retail. I got them for $68, so I really cannot complain there. Thank you once again to the Yeezy guys. I have been wanting these for I don't know how long. I'm pretty sure this is the golden goose for most people. These retail for $600, but on the Adidas website, they were going for $180. Unfortunately, I heard that there's some sizing issues with these, but I heard that you needed to size up a whole size, so I'm curious to see how these are gonna fit. Very, very heavy boot, a lot heavier than I thought they would be, at least in person. These really do feel like a boot, and with winter fast approaching, this is the perfect, perfect boot. Are they worth $600? No. <laughs> I don't think you need an expert to tell you that they're not worth $600, but for $180, man, am I glad to have these. <laughs> Looks like we have another Yeezy 700 box. These retail at $200 at $116. I cannot complain. I like the tongue. I like this infinity lace that's on it. From a build standpoint, they do feel a little cheap, especially this toe box right here. This feels like the moment that you scrape on anything, it's gonna be there for life. So just be careful when you walk in these. You don't wanna wear these as like a work shoe or you don't wanna wear them as like an everyday shoe. Just pop out, you know, when, it, when you wanna add a little bit of color. 350 box, bingo, bingo. We have the Yeezy 350 in the MX dark gray colorway. Personally, really, really a big fan of these. I like the build, I like the textures on them. Um, outsole feels really, really nice. I like these a lot. I think this is just a very versatile color. You can wear these with practically anything, but baggy jeans. We have one more Yeezy Foam Runner in the MX carbon colorway. These prior to the release were hitting somewhere between $180 to $200 resale price. Now retail, these retail for $90, but once again, because of the Yeezy clearance event, we were able to get these for $68. I mean, 68 bucks, come on, dude. That's the same price as a pair of Crocs. Now in terms of the experience itself, when I tell you these were beyond hard to get, payment process failures, just like immediately click an item and then nothing happening. Three of my orders actually got canceled. So this isn't actually everything that I wanted to show you guys. We still have a substantial amount, so I am grateful to the Yeezy God himself. To answer the question from the beginning of the video, was it worth dealing with, yeah. I know there's some people out there that went on the site and tried to get one particular item and they weren't able to get that. So heartfelt apologies to you guys. But if you were there for the Yeezy event, I wanna know what your experience was like. Did you have any problems processing payments? Did things sell out almost immediately for you? Drop a comment below. So overall, Yeezy clearance event, although it was a roller coaster of a ride, very, very intense. Would I do it again? Maybe. But let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to share your stories with me. Drop them below. I go by Potter. 